Hey, 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 hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Julio, how's it going? Good. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Teacher, no se le escucha nada. Hello, guys, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Can you yes, hear me, guys? Yes, yes, I see, I see, I see. Hello, hello, hello. You hear me, you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, we hear you. Hello, hello, guys. <laughs> Hello, hello, you hear me, guys? Here I am, teacher. Here I am. Yes, teacher. Hello. Hola, hola. Tiene problemas con la creo que Creo que no nos escucha. No, no nos está escuchando. Okay. All right. Julio, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Can okay, anybody you. hear me? I don't hear you guys. We can hear can you. you. Can you try to speak so we can check? I can hear you, teacher. I can hear you. Oh, yeah. It seems that we have an issue here with the, with the audio. Just let me check it. Let me check that in this moment. Hello? 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 You no, hear teacher. me? You hear me? Okay. Yes. No, hello. I can hear you, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Okay. Let me know in the chat if you if you can hear me. Let me know in the chat, please. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, but I don't hear you. I don't. I don't hear you. I don't know what's going on. Can you try to speak? Okay, I'm trying to check the microphone in this point. Yeah, I don't hear you, correct. I don't know what's going on with this, but let me check it, don't worry. Let me check it, the settings. All right. Yeah, I don't hear you at all. I don't hear you. Try disconnect and connect the session. All right. I will have to do that. I will be back in one minute. I'm going to finish that. The, this session and I will rejoin. Okay. Just let me try that. Hello? Hello, hello? Hello? Hello, Jorge? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. I hear you. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now it's working. Sorry for that. I don't know what happened. Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Hello there. Hello. 
Hello, hello, you hear me? Try to speak. I hear Jorge. Uh, Ana, Ana Ivania, you hear me? Carla, Catherine, Luis. I can hear you. Yes. Ah, perfect. You, Finally. Thank you, Finally resolved. Okay, I'm really sorry, guys, for the interruption. I'm a money go, but I don't know. Technology sometimes is kind of kind of tricky and difficult. Okay, but welcome back. Welcome, guys. All right. How was your day? Good, good day. It's raining. Is it raining where you live again? Here is raining. Yes, it's it is. It is, right? We are going to have a, a rainy night. Okay, it is raining. Good. Okay, guys, uh, welcome. Uh, welcome. Be very welcome to class number two of your pre-advanced model one. We are going to continue working with more content in English for you. Okay. Uh, remember, we have the the indications as always. Uh, can you can you read it, uh, please, Alejandra Bustamante? Can you help me tonight with the with the indications? One more time, please. Okay. Indication. Uh, complete name in Zoom. Camera on all the time during the meeting. Connect punctually five minutes early. Mm -hmm. Be attentive. No distraction, phone, TV, etc. Participation is always import, important. That's Work right. The only, yeah. Work. Work on the online platform. English yes. Corporate. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Remember, guys, this week in week number one, you need to complete section one and section two. That's why we are going to be working on that. Okay. Questions or doubts? You know, you can ask. Uh, let's see. Ana Ivania, what are the skills that we practice in every class? Ivania? Uh, hi, uh, teacher. Uh, this is my first class. Uh, I just really know uh, I, I can uh, connect it. Ah, you couldn't. You couldn't connect. Okay, don't worry. Just to help me, what are the skills to improve in English? A skill number one is? Is speaking. Uh -huh. That is what you're doing in this moment. You are speaking. Great. Next. Okay. Listening. Mm -hmm. All right. You are listening to me and your classmates. What else? Okay. Grammar. All right. Grammar. And? And? practice and practice we're gonna practice a lot okay. okay and those are the tools thank you Evelyn. those are the tools okay pre advance of model one what is today's topic as sophia be very welcome good evening great to see you there what's the topic that we have today adjectives for describing for describing personal character Characteristics. All right. Personal characteristics. That's it. Uh, in this picture, this man is showing a personal characteristic. What do you think that characteristic is? Personal. In his face, in his eyes, his way of looking. What ad adjective you think that is he is projecting to you? Is he happy? happy? He's maybe upset. Maybe? Upset. Upset. Uh, maybe. Uh -huh. Upset is an adjective, correct. But he's not upset. The adjective is? Serious. 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 Do you think that I am serious? Do you think that me, serious, me? Look at me, look at, no, yes, at all, a lot. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if you say a lot, you're right, I am serious. Yes, it's true, I am serious. Very good. Let's check some adjectives about personality. We are gonna check this link. Um, Let's see, 
Romeo, Vladimir, you're going to help me in this part. Okay, okay. teacher. You are the first one. Let's check because in this part, if you see, we have yeah. this like a mini exercise. Okay, let's start with it. What is the adjective according with the picture? Uh, let me see. Uh, huh? Friendly. Friendly, let's check. All right, that is the correct one. Next, uh, maybe uh, let's see, Carla. What is the adjective for this next picture? Optimist. Optimist. Optimist um, is optimistic. optimistic. Repeat it. Repeat it, please. Optimistic. Optimistic. That's it. All right. Very good. Okay. No, it wasn't. It was wrong. Okay. Next, what about this? Okay, guys. Participation optimistic. is open sometimes. Maybe optimistic. Uh, you say that the yellow ball is optimistic. Ah, uh, that one, yes. That according with the picture, right? Check, scan the picture. Next, uh, let's see, um, Julio, Julio Cesar. According with the picture, nice. check. Uh -huh. Organized. Organized. Ah, pre pretty neat, that desk. Let's see, very good, that is organized. Good. Uh, what about the girl in that picture? What's he doing? How does she look like? What's the adjective? Mm -hmm. Look Patient. at here. Patient. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah, correct. They're very good. Nice. All right. That was the correct one. Ah, okay. That picture in that one. Generous. Uh, generous. 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 Ah, okay. It's raining and the elephant is covering. I don't know, is that a cat or a lion? I don't know, but the adjective is, is generous. They're good, good, good. All right. Next. Next, next. Honest. 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 All right. Yes, correct. That is the adjective according with, with that picture. What about this one? Err, he says. Look at his projection in his face, his eyes, etc. Mm -hmm. We only have three. Which one of those three was the adjective? I have a question. Question? Uh -huh, all right. Yeah, what is the meaning of me, mean? Mean. Okay. okay, the meaning of mean is someone who annoys you all the time. Someone that says, hey, hi, look at here, or look at what he's doing is wrong, or look at him, that is, he's ugly, etc. A mean person annoys, annoys others, annoys. Kind of, kind of, get it, kind of? Yes, thanks. all right. It's like when we say, Ah, you are so mean, so mean all the time, all the time, bothering, bothering, bothering people. All right, that is the meaning. Okay, uh, is that one in the picture? Yeah. Mean, of course, well, of course, right? Look at the expression. All right, uh, I don't, I can hear you now. I don't, I can't. Uh, Ivan. Try to check, guys. Do the rest hear me? Do you hear me, guys? And the rest of you? Yes. yes. I can oh, hear you. Oh, okay. Maybe Ivan, check your your connection with the microphone. Maybe <laughs> yours is not working properly. Okay. Let's see. Mean. Yes, that is mean. Annoying. It's like annoying. Okay. Uh, that one. That one, guys. Smart. Smart. It's smart. smart. That is a smart kid. That's right. Okay. And obviously, at the end, the last one is... Reliable. reliable. Hey, what is, what is reliable? What is that? 
What does that mean? Reliable. It's like a person that you can trust. Mm -hmm. Correct. A person you can trust. That's it. Very good. Good, good, good. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Okay, even but try to try to check so you can participate with us. Okay, perfect. Reliable. That's someone reliable. Very good. Okay, let's close this mini exercise. Let's continue with the next. Okay, we were in this part. We were checking that. Okay, adjectives or describing personal characteristics. Question, what is the question there? Uh, let's see, Catherine, Catherine, Lisbeth, what is the question? How? How do you describe yourself? Oh, okay. Um, I can describe myself like this, in like this example. I am serious. I am, let's see, kind of happy sometimes, but I am serious. That is how I, I describe in using one adjective. And you, uh, Julio, how do you describe yourself using one adjective? Um, I am um, a smart guy. All right. Okay. As more, being as more is, is great. Mm -hmm. Carla? Carla René, how do you describe yourself with one adjective? Select one. I'm organized person. Hey, I am organized too. I forgot that adjective. Nice. Okay, very good. Uh, Melissa, what about you, Melissa? How do you describe yourself in one adjective? Melissa? Ivan? Ivan, Ivan? How do you describe yourself using one adjective? You can use the chat if your microphone is not working. Wendy, what about you, Wendy? How do you describe yourself? Wendy, Paula? Okay, Beatriz, maybe. Remember, guys, the more you participate, your English will improve a little bit, and that's it. Romeo? I am optimistic ah uh, being optimistic is good yes that's right thank you Beatriz Romeo I am organized and serious <laughs> hey like me <laughs> okay <laughs> we have we have like the same the same the characteristics right okay good Jorge what about you I am serious all right like serious all right we're good 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 Sofia how do you describe yourself? I'm a friendly and a very honest and, respons and responsible person. And sometimes I like to make some jokes to my friends. Ah, okay. You have a good humor sense. Okay, that's cool. Good, good. Alejandra, serious as well, <laughs> like some of us? Uh, I am a, a punctual and sometimes impatient impatient why impatient i don't know i i don't like when the people uh, it's like like annoying people yes. when people are annoyed okay good i get you get you okay very good eduardo and you can you describe luis luis or eduardo melgar Mendes. Uh huh. Okay. Both. You can answer both. You can answer. Both. I am. You. I am honest, friendly. Honest and friendly. Okay. Good combination. All right. All right. Uh, Eduardo Jose, Catherine. Um. I think I am uh, an introvert person. Uh. Can you repeat it one more time? An introvert. Ah, introverted. Ah, an introverted person. Okay. All right. Okay. Good, 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 guys. All right. Now, this link, in this link, you will find more, more adjectives about characteristics. Sophia, what about if you help me a little bit? 
from this this part in this part adjectives that describe personality elementary vocabulary and grammar okay here it is a list of english words that are often used to describe someone's personality okay help me with the first one only please with the first one the okay. first adjective Great. Brave. Brave. Someone who isn't afraid of danger. Example sentence. Example sentence. Mario is a Coast Guard. He is very brave. His job is to rescue people. Okay, perfect. Very good. Brave. Uh, who do you consider brave, guys? You? Do you consider brave? Brave? Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean bravo, no es bravo, right? <laughs> it sounds like similar. What is brave? What's brave? Mm -hmm. Valiente. Valiente. Ajá, valiente, correct. Good, good. All right, perfect. Let's see, Carla René, the next adjective about person personality. Chatty. Chatty. Someone... Mm -hmm. Chatty. Someone who talks a lot. Hey, did you know chatty adjective? Did you know this adjective? New vocabulary, check. Okay, example sentence. Maria is a very chatty person. She's always on the phone to friends. Okay, not in person, it's on the phone, it says. Besides chatty, you can use uh, talk, uh, talkative. A talkative person, a person who talks, talks a lot. Okay, thank you. Let's see, um, Anna Ivania, can you read the next adjective personality? Clever. Clever. Mm -hmm. Clever. Good at learning times. Example things. 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 Mm -hmm. things. Okay. Example sentences. Gerard is very clever. He always gets gets top marks in class. Oh, high grades. Top mark is like high grades, nines, tens, elevens, etc. Okay, clever, very good. Sure. Uh -huh. And I I remember uh some similar to clever, brainiac can be similar. Uh, can you spell it, please? B R A N A and E. No, sorry, and A I I. Ah, okay, I. C C. Brainiac. Um, I'm gonna check with the tools because. I don't know if this word is correct, but what do you do when you have doubts? What do you do? You go to the tools. I will pick this one. Brainiac, Brainiac. Mm, it doesn't appear in so, this part. Sorry, I, I, I spell it wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is B R A? B R A I N I I A C B R A I N mm -hmm. After I, I A C C Ah, this one, Brainiac. Ah, is different word. Okay, let's look at it using the tools. That's why I like using the tools. They take you out of mistakes and you can check. Brainiac. Mm -hmm. Brainier. -da -da -da. It doesn't appear as you say. Let's check in the second one. Brainiac. Ah, here it is. Aquí está, right? Brainiac. But brainiac is a noun, not an adjective. According to this, 
brainiac. Someone who is very, very intelligent. So it is someone who has a lot of intelligence, but the word says that is, that is a noun. Okay, like a smart guy, a smart guy, a smart, a smart guy. But not an adjective, but you can use it. Puedo usarla, yes. But it's not an adjective. It says that is a noun. All right? Okay? Clear, guys? Clear with this? Ah, it's informal uh, in this part. Brainiac. Brainiac. Okay. Very good. That's why I like using the tools. They teach you a lot. A lot of things. Okay. Thank you for that. New word for me. Very good. Okay, let's see. Uh, teacher, yes, teacher. tell me, tell me, yes. Okay, clever is same uh, intelligent. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, okay. intelligent, clever. Do you know any other adjectives? Intelligent, clever, mm -hmm. smart. Smart. Hi, uh -huh. uh -huh. smart. Correct. Okay. okay. Uh, I know another one that you can use. That is a brainy, brainy, brain. brainy from from the brain, from the brain. Check adjective. There is brainy, informal. By the way, for cierto, informal, brainy, clever, synonym, etc. Okay. All right. Use the tools, okay? In the presentation, you have the tools. You see, it's pretty good to use them. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, guys, you can continue checking more vocabulary about adjectives, about uh, example sentences like these ones, and definitions, very important, definitions. Okay, you can continue checking them when, when you have time. Okay, uh, questions about adjectives? We have many, many adjectives we can use. Yes, a lot of adjectives you can use. Okay, uh, let's see, let's continue in this part. After checking this list, we have this question. Can you read it? Got? Got a bestie, guys? Got a bestie? Got a bestie? What's that, teacher? What, what's the word bestie? People often use it. People use it sometimes. Okay. It's a best friend? Yeah, correct. It's a best friend. But mm -hmm. this question is... Mm -hmm. Got a bestie. Yeah, get a bestie, guys. Get a bestie. No, no besties. Yeah. You yeah. are you should have. Yeah, I think yes. Ah, okay, <laughs> yeah, I knew it, knew it. Ah, okay, good, good. But what is the formal? What is the normal vocabulary question for a type of informal question? The formal one is. Do you have a I best have friend? I have a friend. Okay. Do you have a best friend? But this is formal. In English, you can use informal language with your friends, with your family, etc. Let's see. Um, okay. I know that you are typing, just writing quickly. Guys, I will share you the, the presentation. Don't worry. I'm going to share it with you. So don't, don't take too long about writing don't worry okay thank you <laughs> no don't worry okay don't worry i will send it to you all right get bestie guys do you have bestie who is your bestie tell me who's your bestie your best friend in life in your short life uh-huh do you have bestie uh, jorge alberto who is your bestie do you have any best friend Yes, teacher, I have. Who is your best friend? Uh, my best friend is a Kelvin. He is uh, my friend. 
I meet when we have a uh, 25 years old and we communicate um, every day. Okay, cool. Hey, that's cool. Yes. All right. 25 years where you met him. I met, simple past. I met him because meet is present. We had to say met. Okay, very good. Julius Caesar, got any best friend that you still have in, in your life? I, uh, I think it's my cousin. She lives in LA. Oh. We're so close. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. That Does he visit you? Yeah, he's visiting me right now. Ah, he is here. Okay, that's yes, great. Nice. All right. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Melissa, Melissa Stephanie, do you have any bestie? Any women that can be your bestie? Uh, yes, my bestie, her name is Andrea. And she's a... Okay, she's uh, <laughs> uh, she's very cute. You can say to very complete. Ah, yes. Okay, that's it. All right. You can use any compliment, guys. When you are using verb to be, you can use any type of compliment. She's cute. She's twenty years old. She's uh, pretty smart, etc. All right, very good. And you, Alejandra, besties. Yes. How many? <laughs> Um, her her name is Ana Luisa, and um, since two thousand six, and okay. it's very important. It's very important important for me, and um, she is forty six years old, and I love you. I love her. You know me. <laughs> ah, thank you very no. much. No, I feel. <laughs> I don't know how they feel. I love her. Ah, I love okay, her. okay, okay. I love. I love hair. Hair, correct. Okay, object pronoun, correct. Okay, because me, right, right. <laughs> okay, okay, pretty cool. Good, <laughs> nice, excellent, very good. Okay, question: How is she? Or he like. Now describe your describe your bestie. It says, um, can you read the indication there, please, Carla? Describe. Describe your best friend following this exercise. Example. Example. Okay. My best friend Oscar is someone who is positive in bad situation in bad situations. All right, very good. Check. We are using this word. My best friend Oscar, you can mention the name of your bestie, is someone who is in the adjective positive compliment in bad situations. All right, very good. What can you say about your bestie, Anna? What can you say about your bestie following this example? Uh, I have many good friends, uh, but um, one is a uh, Ellie uh, is uh, uh, a uh, fabulous woman. Okay, follow the example. My best friend is Ellie. Uh, uh, Just follow it. She is uh -huh. uh, uh, right. someone mm -hmm. who is uh, a fabulous woman. Who is, don't forget the verb to be. Who is? A fabulous, 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 fabulous 
Woman. Woman. Very good. Your sentence is correct. Pretty cool. Okay, Ellie. Okay, Ellie is your bestie. Uh, what about you? Let's see, Beatriz Abelar. What can you say about your bestie if you have one? Use adjectives. Use adjectives. Okay. My best friend is Marcela. Is someone who is grumpy when I wake up early. <laughs> grumpy. What is grumpy? What's grumpy? Mm -hmm. Definition? Como enojada o, o gruñona. Ah, all right, right. Okay, you know the meaning. Chicos, si quieren aprender un poquito más, check. Using the tools. Grumpy. No sé cómo dar una definición. Use the tools. Grumpy. Who is grumpy? It says easily. Mm -hmm. Easily annoyed and complaining. Very good. That's it. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Okay. And the next part, besides this, we have likes and dislikes. We have likes and dislikes. And these ones are relative clauses with two words. The first word is it, and the second word is when. Uh, Alejandra, tell me, what are some positive forms about expressing likes or dislikes? The positive forms can be I like it. I like it. All right? Or I love it. I love it. Okay, positive forms. Very good. Romeo, what are some neutral forms when you describe or express likes and dislikes? I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Okay, this is like not good, not bad. Very good. Teacher, and I don't mm -hmm. care? I don't care. That would be kind of kind of negative, I think. But yes, you can use it because you are expressing uh, a dislike. Yes, and we have it in the negative form. Then in the negative form, we have... Can you read them? I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh huh. I can stand it. All right. Or I hate it. I hate it. Or I hate it. Or even we can have, we can have, I detest it. I is like similar to hate. Similar to hate. I detest it. Okay. Very negative. This is very negative. Okay. So you can use to express likes and dislikes these forms. Check all of them. All of them have it. I don't like it. I love it. I don't mind it. It, 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 etc. Okay. Yes, question? Questions? No? Mm -hmm. mm, yes, what Carla. What do mind in no form? Mind, I don't mind it. Okay. Uh, this is my birthday. This is my birthday example, right? You give me you give me socks, and the last year you gave me a cell phone. But I don't mind it when my bestie gives me any gift. I am okay with a cell phone. I am okay with the socks. I don't mind it. Got it? Yes. Got it? Yes. You are um, like, I oh, know I am okay with this. Okay. Good. Let's see. We are going to practice more. Another ways to express them. Uh, Sophia, can you help me in this part, please? More ways to express. 
Sofía. Okay. Hello. Mm -hmm. This one. I love it. Uh -huh. I can stand it. It makes me happy. All right. In singular, the third person. Check. It makes me happy. All right. What about these ones? Continue. It bothers me. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. It embarrasses me. It doesn't bother me. It really upsets me. I don't mind it. Okay. Thanks. Example, please. Um, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Alejandra, example. Example, when people talk love, lovely, lovely during a movie. Okay. But we need to complete one idea to the other idea. It says the example below. The yes. Uh -huh. uh, what's the pronunciation of the uh embar embar or is uh, that that one that this one this one all right uh, the verb is in embarrass but normal embarrass. normal normal verb but if you notice is the third person pronunciation mm -hmm. it embarrasses me <clears throat> It embarrasses. Try it out. Can you try it out? Embarrasses me. Me, correct. Embarrasses. embarrasses. That's it. it. Embarrasses me. Embarrasses me. That's it. Okay. Nice, nice. All right. Uh, you need to repeat it several times, guys. That's for all of you to dominate a difficult uh, pronunciation in in grammar okay but that is the one uh, example it really can you read it it really upsets me when people talk lovely during a movie yes that is that upsetting is that annoying right when people are talking in a movie and you're trying to watch your favorite movie. It really upsets me when people talk loudly during a meeting. That is how you complete one idea to the other. Now, let's practice. And if you check, what is the next word that you can use? The word? When. 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 Like in the example. It. It really upsets me. When people talk loudly during a movie. Okay. When refers to a situation that you are trying to express. That's why the topic is likes or dislikes. Okay. Example. Sent Close is like a sentence. Can you read it, uh, Jorge? Can you read this part? Close. Close with it as uh, subject. Plus there, plus it. Plus it. Okay. This one, adverbial. Adverbial clause with when, when, subject, uh, plus verb. Plus the verb. Okay. Example, please. Example, Eduardo Jose Melgar. I love it when people congratulate me. All right, when you are in a birthday, right? When you eat your birthday, when you are in a graduation or you obtain, I don't know, a recognition example. Okay, very good. The next example, please. Uh, let's see, Luis Eduardo Mendez. Please, please. No, he's not. Hola, there. hola, hola, hola. Ah. Sorry. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, can you read the second example? Okay, I hear it when someone talks to me rather. All right. I hate it when someone talks to me rude, like, rude. hey, okay. what are you doing? What are you doing in this place? That is rude, okay? Would you hate it? Lo diaria, right? You would hate it, I guess. Okay, good. Now, 
check. Uh, let's see, Julio, can you read this small portion below? When? When you have uh, when you have third person, don't forget to apply the simple present rules. Yes, this is important. When you are using this, apply the third person if applies, the applica, right? Number one, third person, yes or no? In example one. No. No, no, no third no. person. Because people is not third person. That's why no letter S, no rules. In number two? Number two, yes. It applies, yeah. uh -huh. yes. Yeah. In this one, yes. We it's need the third person because we use when someone, someone is singular. That's why I need the third person rule in this one. Okay. Uh, let's see, Carla Rene, please, what is the indication in this part? Relative clauses with it when. Look at next look at the next pictures in accordance with it, express like or dislike. Okay, guys, please focus, focus on the picture or every picture and try to guess if it's a like or a dislike. And let's complete a sentence like this one. You have examples like this example, uh, like this one, or these two other. Now, picture one. What is this? A like or a dislike? Dislike. Dislike. Okay, that is the first point. Correct. It is a dislike. How can you express a dislike? using a relative clause. For example, what can you say? I hate. Okay. Hate. All right. All right, let me type it. I hate. Uh, I, uh, when, I hate it, I hate it when, when men, Scream is when a when a man screams to a girl or a woman. Ah, uh, okay. Let's suppose that that you are the girl, right? You say, ah, uh, because you are placing yourself as the first person. You say, I hate it when I don't know my my brother. You can say my brother when my brother. Next, it screams, yeah. you said, right? It screams. Oh, screams. Uh -huh. It screams at yeah. me. But it screams, it scream. Mm. That The verb is correct, but better use jail. Mm -hmm. All right. Jails at me. All right. Correct or incorrect, guys? Correct? Yes. Uh huh. Or incorrect? Yes. The sentence. Correct. It is correct. It is correct. Correct. Right. Yes. You are using the relative clause with it. Yes. Uh huh. And the other part with the word when. That's it. In check. Third person. Because my brother is singular, right? You need the third person. Uh, is when he screams. Third person, uh, Beatriz. When he screams, you need the third person, letter S. Okay, but it would be the opposite. It would be the opposite. First, I don't like it. Second, when he screams, to me. All right. Okay. Very good. That is correct. Now let's see. Ta -na 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 -na. Ta -na -na -na. Melissa or Romeo. Second picture. Example. Look at look at the picture. Scan it. Check it. Review it. What's going on in the picture? I 
love it when someone someone is ah okay how I... say uh -huh. atento uh, atento okay um, attentive let's see gentle better gentle oh yeah gentle yeah. yeah I love it when someone is gentle all right when someone someone is gentle even if you don't know the person right you don't yeah. know the, the person no matter okay it is is that correct is the the relative clause uh, correct i think that is correct yeah it is correct know. it is yeah. correct but you are not using any other verb you are using verb to be but it's correct you can use more verbs or the verb to be, but it's correct. Check. You're using verb to be. It is correct. In the third person, right? No are. When someone are, no, right? When someone am, no. It should be is all the time. All right? Correct. It is correct. Very good. Mm, do we have more? Let's check. Next picture. Look at her. She's checking her watch, talking over the phone in a city outside a building. I don't know what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Ideas you can use. Is that a like or dislike? Dislike. Uh, dislike. It can be a dislike, right? Correct. That is the first thing. Think, dislike or like. Second, what is the second part? Using any of these forms. Positive, neutral, or negative. Ne I think it's ne negative. Okay, can you give uh, an example? I, I can um, stand uh, when people is always when when I can stand it correct it don't forget it mm -hmm. it <laughs> I it, hate it when I'm late ah okay for example I can stand it when I'm late mm, but it it is correct but the context of the sentence is. I am the guilty to be late. Okay? You have to express your emotion to someone, to someone else. I don't know, your boss, your mother, your sister, etc. Not to yourself, but it's possible. Correct. Uh -huh. well, well, my boss always rushing me. <laughs> uh, th that is better. Correct. Because bosses are like that. When my boss rush is the verb, what do I do with this verb? What do I yes. do? Yes. Correct. Uh, the rule yes. says verbs ending in sh to make the third person, I add es. That is correct. Um, rush I hate it when, when the time to do something is short. Okay, I hate it when the time to do something is short. It is correct. Okay, you are expressing your emotion with the time. All right, it's correct. It is correct, yes. Okay, pretty cool. What about in, in this picture? Like or dislike? Dislike. Okay, imagine that the boy, the boy is you. <laughs> uh -huh. and the girl is your sister example I don't like when I don't like it when All right. my mother force force me to give it up alright good I get you I don't like it when my mother Mother mm -hmm. um, forces correct at the at the beginning you said force, but now you are correcting 
it is forces me mm -hmm. to give it up to to get up to get up correct to get up get up is ever very good i don't i don't i like is missing i don't like it when my mother forces me to get up very good that is correct okay that's it pretty cool and uh, let's see only boys are giving me examples so what about carla sofia i hate it mm -hmm. i hate it when my sister interrupts my sleep very good okay that's pretty cool good example i hate it when my sister interrupts my sleep very good okay excellent nice Did nice you... yes uh... yes yes an example, but the first picture. I the first picture. Go ahead. There it is. Ahí está. Okay. I hate it when clients call when you have a short lunch time. All right. Good example. I hate when clients call me better. Let's make it better doing, during my lunch time. Very good example when you are working. Okay. Teacher. Very good. Yes? I have, teacher, I have a question. Uh, could okay. be the could be uh first the the subject and the second and the sentence could be the first the subject the the ah, ¿cómo se dice? Puede ser primero el sujeto y luego el uh la relative clause. Um, hmm. Let's see. A la oración? Yeah, I get you. Um, it could be, but it would be like kind of weird to do that because first is a, the relative clause with it, that is number one, and then is when. But when my mother forces me to get up. I don't like it. Mm. <laughs> Sound like sounds like weird. Yoda. Uh yeah, okay. The message is understood, but the order is not correct. So let's keep it like the rule says. Okay. But yeah, the message could be understood, but this is the order, by the way. Okay. Uh let's see. Do we have more uh guys? Complete these two pictures as a homework, please. I will be sharing this class in the Google Drive link where you can download the, the presentation. Complete it to practice and you have these links to study a little bit more about this topic. Relative clauses with it and with the word when okay and you have the link i'm gonna send it to you in this moment in the chat please save it save it save it in this moment uh just give me one sec please save the link oh it send it like like as a picture okay just let me try it one more time okay there it is okay there is a link guys there is a link please save it in with this link you can download the rest of the presentations all right thank you good examples good participation thank you so much see you tomorrow and have a great night guys thank you Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Bye. teacher. Bye. Have a good, good night. Thank you. Thank you so night. much. Bye-bye, guys. Have Thank a good you, day. Good, good, day. No, good night. Good day is already right. passed. <laughs> okay. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, of course. Bye, teacher. See you. Bye-bye. Take care. See you.